Hey guys, Dr. Kahu here and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be doing a new and broken what if and that is what if Goku got stuck in Super Saiyan God part 1. Now as usual guys if you guys can please like and subscribe, leave a comment down below, leave the bell notification on so you guys can be the first to get my new content and follow me on Discord to, to which I'll leave the link in the description below. Copy it, go on Discord, add it and, and I'll add you on there if you're still pending okay guys. And not only that guys, I hope you guys are all having a safe 2021 and hope this future, that well this year that comes by is better than the last okay guys. So yeah, and not only that guys, please follow me on my stream. We'll be cracked up to have you guys up on there. It'll be really funny to watch, see what you guys have to say okay. So yeah, but without further ado guys, let's get into this new broken world of and that is what if Goku got stuck in Super Saiyan God part 1. So let's begin. Our story is going to take place guys is right at the end of the battle of god's arc after goku did the super saiyan god ritual and and obtained super saiyan god that way now it's not until the battle with beerus where goku re um reaffirms the super saiyan god where he technically loses it first and then what happens is when beerus chucks out his final attack at goku and Go goku manages to reawaken the super saiyan god that's when goku's body fully breaks and obtains super saiyan god permanently and so from there this is where our story is going to begin now after Goku um, disperses Lord Beerus' attack, he's, so, he's severely tired, but Lord Beerus looks at Goku and goes, Hmm, despite you losing your, your DC powers uh, a moment ago, it has reaffirmed itself, if not taking a full grasp upon you, Saiyan. Goku looks at Lord Beerus and goes, what do you mean? He goes, take a look at yourself. You may be drained of your energy right now, but you're technically now a Super Saiyan God. Goku's like, really? Lord Beerus goes, yes. Bear in mind, Saiyan, you did lose this power not so long ago, and you will fight me in your Super Saiyan state, your natural one. However, due to this battle, and due to the prolonged battle with me, of course, you, or well, the fire within you, decided to ignite even further, and is now raging within you. So Goku goes, so what do you mean, is mine? And he goes, so, so be a lesser state, Saiyan, you're permanently stuck as a Super Saiyan God. Not quite a deity like I am, but... Super Saiyan God nonetheless <laughs> and Goku's like oh wow and as Goku falls down to the planet Goku is really tired from the battle still regardless of him being Super Saiyan God or not and so as he falls down Beerus catches Goku and takes him down but what ends up happening is when everyone sees Goku Goku's hair is still red well Goku's hair is red Piccolo's like wait wait a minute didn't you just huh am I not catching these right and what happened is if he's like what the matter Goku wasn't in Super Saiyan God before, but now he is. In fact, it hasn't even turned off. And Lord Beerus goes, Yes, because you mortals can't sense what me and Whis can sense. To put it plainly simple, Goku had a fire set by you guys when you guys turned him into a Super Saiyan God, but it extinguished and he retained some of his power. Now, after me and, me and his last initial clash happened, Goku's fire ignited and it spread like wildfire and now Goku's body is exploding with the god energy within him. So Goku's body has adapted to being Super Saiyan God. Whis just looks at Beerus and goes so overcomplicated. What Lord Beerus means to say is Goku is stuck in the Super Saiyan God form. And then Whis waves his wand over Goku and Beer and well Goku himself and heals him. Goku gets back up and he goes, uh, so you're saying I'm stuck in this form? Uh, Whis is like, yes. And Beerus is like, how interesting. <laughs> so you may be a rival after all this, Saiyan. Vegeta looks over at Goku and is like, Ha! Damn it! Well, next time we do this ritual, I will take this place, take your place, Kakarot! And Goku's like, go ahead. Just... He's just confused. He's just really confused. Chi Chi goes to Goku and pulls his hair. So what are you saying? You're going to be keeping this red hair permanently? And Goku's like, come on, Chi Chi. It wasn't my intention. And from there, what happens is Beerus still leaves, and he talks to Whis and goes, Whis, did you see that? That Saiyan, his power is astonishing. Don't you don't you agree? And Whis goes, well, yes. It was thanks to your attack, Lord Beerus, if you're watching carefully, that physically broke himself, and he forced the energy out, out of him. Goku's like, um, um, looking at himself, while Whis and Beerus are flying away, talking to each other, each other and Goku's like, what the hell do I do with this? How do I utilize this power properly? 
but what happens from there is Vegeta goes off for his training later on of course and Goku c continues his mundane life however the big difference is Goku's stuck in Super Saiyan Gold so he's extremely strong so anything he touches he cracks pushes breaks everything so he has to be gentle with Chi Chi gentle with Gohan and, and Goten and so Goku's training is not as fruitful as it would be because well he's a Super Saiyan God and nothing's really that easy everything's so mundane to him and so what happens is after the six months of Vegeta training with Lord Beerus Whis makes it time that he come to see Goku this is when Goku runs off and goes to train with Whis now when Whis takes Goku to, um, to Lord Beerus as well this is when Vegeta senses Goku's god key and he goes ah Whis is, Whis is reviving and who is that power? He senses that he goes, another god? And then Whis appears with Goku. Vegeta's like, Kakarot! And he's, Vegeta's quite stunned to sense Goku's immense power. He's like, no wonder you were able to survive the fight with Lord Beerus. How interesting. And Goku's like, hey Vegeta! And he looks at Vegeta and goes, wow! I must say, you have gotten a lot stronger than when we last saw each other, Vegeta. He goes, <laughs> well, unlike you, Kakarot, I wasn't granted this ability by handshake or uh, get together and Goku goes come on Vegeta you didn't want to take it the first time this would have been you then if that was the case and Vegeta looks at Goku and goes I don't take the easy route like you Kakara Vegeta gets really angry at Vegeta but Whis goes enough of that Vegeta did you finish your chores he goes you look yes look on Whis and he goes good please get um, um take Goku to his resting area where he will get accommodated to his situation from there we'll begin our training tomorrow and Vegeta goes yes Whis so from there, Goku and Vegeta go through um, their training regiment. Now, because Goku is severely stronger than Vegeta, he gets a harder situation. His weights are heavier, much, much more heavier. He has to do everything in a pressurized suit at all times. And Vegeta has to slowly but surely catch up to Goku. Even, even if he gets a little bit more stronger than Canon, he still has to gradually catch up to Goku's immense power. Now, fast forward to um, Frieza getting um, resurrected, and he begins his four-month training. Goku and Vegeta have gone to the point where Vegeta is actually much more stronger than Canon, and Goku is severely stronger than Canon because he's stuck in Super Saiyan God, you know. And so when Whis fights Goku, he's fighting a, a lower deity to to them, you know. And so as Goku um, fights with Whis, he actually gets really, really good utilizing his power, utilizing God Key. He's able to suppress his energy perfectly, raise it properly, utilize everything backwards and forth to the point where he's actually much more better than Canon. And so, when Whis looks at Goku, he smiles and notices that Goku is actually really strong. Now, when Vegeta and Goku do their initial clash, and they show, um, well, Vegeta shows his god key, Goku, something erupts out of Goku, that the new energy, he senses this energy that he can push himself. And so, when Goku and Vegeta are pushing themselves even more, um, Whis gets contacted by Bulma towards the state freezes back. Um, Vegeta goes, what? Freezes back! And so, Goku and Vegeta look at each other, Goku puts his hand on his head and he senses them out. Because Goku's stuck in Super Saiyan God, he can sense Earth much more clearer than his base form natural land cannon. And so what happens is Goku just senses that he locks on to um, uh, the Freezer's key and he teleports to Earth with Vegeta in tow. Now Lord Beerus and them have to still fly there and this pisses off Beerus massively. But when um, Goku and Vegeta land on Lord Beerus' world, this is when they see Freezer and Freezer's like, Oh, the two monkeys have arrived. And he looks at Goku and goes, Hmm. You, Goku, must have a bad hairstyle today, red, huh? And Goku goes, Freezer, what the hell are you doing here? Vegeta walks over. Hey, step aside, Kakarot. This battle is mine. And Freezer's like, oh, ho, ho, ho. Prince Vegeta thinks he can bark at me. How pathetic, little monkey. I understand, I don't come for you. I come for the sand, Goku. And if you get in my way, I will kill you. Vegeta grits his teeth, but Goku goes, Sweet, see Vegeta, he wants to fight me. Nabo, I'm first. And he's like, damn you Kakarot, you will take all the fun. And so Goku squares off against Frieza and goes, Frieza goes, show me that Super Saiyan form I, I love to hate. And Goku goes, Super Saiyan. <laughs> Super Saiyan form you love to hate. Bear in mind, Lord Frieza. <laughs> Lord Frieza. Bear in mind, Frieza, that this is not Super Saiyan. Nor is this a normal form of Super Saiyan. How about we just call this Super Saiyan God? And Frieza's like, Super Saiyan God, all right. Frieza powers up to his full power final form and rushes at Goku, but Goku doesn't move at all. So he doesn't dodge or nothing. He allows Frieza to punch him, and when Frieza punches Goku, it's reminiscent to what Jiren does to Goku when he allows Goku to punch him when he's Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2. 
and all their jazz. And so what ends up from here is Frieza gets frustrated because none of the none of the attacks do anything to, to Goku. And then Goku backhands Frieza, sending him flying, cratering into the wall. Frieza gets you like, what the hell? What kind of power is this? Goku walks over. You didn't hear me, Frieza. I told you, I am stuck. I am Super Saiyan God. I am f far beyond Super Saiyan. Goku gets it in the position. But now that you realize what the depth of my power is, let's see how truly strong you are. Goku disappears and appears right on the side of Frieza, kicking him in the face so hard, sending him crashing across the ground. Then Goku appears and kicks Frieza in the air, sending him flying, rocking it up. But Goku grabs Frieza's tail without him even noticing and slams him back in the ground and throws him around. Now, as this goes by, Vegeta is getting really pissed off, and he rushes in and goes, Kakarot, it's my turn, you bastard! Let me fight him! You want to kill him before I even get the chance! And Goku goes, come on, Vegeta, you lost the you lost! And he goes, Gah. you know what, Kakarot, that's it! But Vegeta begins to power up, but Frieza gets up because he, he laughs, he goes, I'm so grateful I trained against you, monkeys. No way I would have been in fear right now, but no, I am not in fear. And instead, Frieza emits a massive amount of um, energy and he explodes with a golden form Frieza. When Vegeta and Goku look at this form, Vegeta is actually taken aback at how powerful Frieza has become. Goku is too, but bear in mind, Goku has been stuck in Super Saiyan God for the last 6 months, or the last 9 months, or 10 months to be honest. When it came down to it, because Goku's um, the Battle of God's Ark, then when he goes to train Whis, and this is when Frieza decided to be revived. Let's say a whole year, okay? I'm unsure I'm on the time scale, I'll check it out again. But so Goku is severely stronger than using Canon. So when Frieza goes to Golden Form, Goku goes, You know what, Frieza? I'm so glad you're here. I get to test my full power out right now. If this, if this was any other time, we would have given him a harder tick. And Fri Frieza goes, <laughs> And Goku goes, What kind of form do you call that? Frieza goes, Let me just not oversimplify things. This is Golden, Fr golden Frieza. It goes duly noted. He appears by Frieza and they begin to battle and it shows that they're more equal than they are in canon. Goku and Super Saiyan God and Frieza in his golden form. They are near equals in battle but Frieza is slightly stronger thanks to the fact that he, he is in his pure golden form. Not master of course but in his pure golden form. And so as they begin to battle despite Frieza having a slight advantage, Goku smiles and starts to press Frieza even more to the point where Beerus and Whis appear. When I see them come he goes huh. So Frieza is back, how interesting. And Whis goes, yes, he's a lot stronger than he was before. And Lord Beerus goes, I see that. <laughs> how funny. That little rat. Frieza, but Frieza was about to interfere, but he goes, Hey, Boma, where's that food you have? And Boma at first tries to scowl, or, or tries to um, uh, talk down to Beerus, but Beerus says, You better shut up and feed me before I destroy you. And so Bomber comes in and chucks some of the food, and this is when we send them eat the ice cream and fight over it. Now, back to where Goku is, Frieza is go going all out it to the point where he actually catches Goku off guard, hits him really bad, and begins to beat, beat down on Goku, taking as much advantage as he can. Now, Vegeta is about to step in and interfere, but Goku puts his hand up, he flexes his key, pushing Fre Frieza away, and he gets up and looks at Frieza and goes, <laughs> I must say, you're more powerful than I thought, Frieza. I definitely underestimated you, but. Always the same with you as you underestimate us Saiyans. Goku begins to power up again even more, explodes even more, and then he turns into a Super Saiyan God or Blue or Super Saiyan Blue situation. When Frieza is like Blue, Goku immediately rushes. He's um, Goku, um, what's it called? Goku easily rushes and begins to beat down the Golden Freezer. There's not a big contest no more to the point where Freezer gets smashed up badly. Goku gra go grabs his feet and slams him to the ground, chucks him around as if he's Hulk to Loki. Beating him down, Frieza's like, what the? And Goku kicks Frieza in the air, backhands him away, and does a real powerful compressed Kamehameha. When he shoots at Frieza, Frieza's able to make a barrier and flip himself over, but Goku appears behind him and appears in front of him. Um, and what happens is Frieza's like, what the? And Goku punches Frieza in the face so hard that he craters into the ground. Now, bear in mind that Frieza has gone from being in golden form back into his base form. And then Goku walks over to him and goes, this is pity for you. But understand, if you ever come back to Earth, I will kill you. And so, what happens is Goku turns away, Soul Bay attacks Goku. But because Goku is in Super Saiyan God form, his body is like near indestructible. And so, deflects he, his body deflects the attack away. But Soul Bay dies immediately, of course. And Whis is, looking at, uh, Whis is looking at Goku and goes, nicely done. And so, as Goku walks away from Frieza, 
Frieza cheap, tries to cheap shot Goku and Goku dodges it, catches the attack and explodes it. There you go, You always find a coward way to fight a eh, Frieza. Frieza tells Goku, well, one way or another, you're gonna die. And so Frieza puts all his attack in his last final move, the supernova, and as he powers it, he puts all his abilities, even his golden form energies, into it. And then from there, he chucks it at Goku, hoping that this attack will do something to Goku. Goku sees this and he powers back up the full power Super Saiyan Blue, puts his hands together and retracts it back and goes, Here then, Golden Frieza, here's a godly Super Saiyan um, Kamea attack at you. Frieza's like, well, What? And he goes, he goes Kamehame. And as the last words echo out, we all know it's Ha! Shoots the Kamehame at Frieza and Frieza tries his best to um, push the Super Nova back at Goku, but Goku is severely strong with him, especially turning into Super Saiyan Blue, hitting Frieza in the gut. Badly hurting her. Hurting Frieza. Well, so I'm not badly hurting him, pretty much wipes him out to be honest. He's not like Vegeta, and this time this Goku doesn't allow Frieza to destroy the world. Sorry. He easily wipes out Frieza. And from there, Frieza being gone, Vegeta was a Goku goes, So when how, how long have you been able to do that form, Kakarot? And Goku goes, What do you mean? He goes, That blue form. Remember, I can do it too with Goku. Yeah, I know. He goes, how long have you been able to do it, Kakarot? Because I learned it pretty early, to be honest. I learned how to combine Super Saiyan um, God and Super Saiyan together. I was just utilizing the power difference. I was okay. stuck in Super Saiyan God, but at least with Super Saiyan, I I can get you easy as to go go to the form. Which is like looking at Goku, like you don't make no sense. Goku goes simply put, because I'm already stuck in Super Saiyan God. All I did was learn how to control my key properly. And can do it into a super, into a god key form and turn Super Saiyan. And Vegeta's like, ah, I get you, I get you, I get you. Yeah, that's how easy it was for me to do, say Vegeta. We already master Super Saiyan. And Vegeta's like looking at Goku like, what the hell? What the hell's wrong with Kakra? How is he so powerful? And so as Goku and v Vegeta and them all go off to do their normal thing back there, Beerus uh, looks at Goku and goes, well, you, do, you, you surprised me, they're saying. I actually thought you didn't have it in you to kill Frieza, but here you go, killing Frieza. <laughs> I was looking at it properly, Goku, you'll make a really good god destruction. Goku goes, no thank you, I don't destroy. And Beerus goes, he goes, I think you need to look back at what you just said, because um, I don't see no remnants of Frieza no more, do you? Goku's like, well yeah, true. And so as Goku he looks on and goes on with little Beerus, he kind of smiles at what happened, well, kind of smiles at the situation. But he, as he has his own form of regrets, not liking the fact that he's stuck in this form, but he now is happy, knows in the fact that he's happy that he's, he can upgrade his form from Super Saiyan God to Super Saiyan Blue at, at any time at will. But that has its limiter. So bear in mind, Goku's base form is Super Saiyan God always now. So as the um, Resurrection F um, arc um, wraps up, this is where I'm going to leave this world off guys, I hope you guys liked this, please like and subscribe, leave a comment down below, leave the bell notification on so you guys can be the first to get my new content, and of course guys follow me on, on Discord towards I'll leave the link in the description, just copy it, go on Discord, paste it, add me, if it's pending, wait till for me to add you, later on in my stream tonight, okay guys, and not only that guys, follow me on my stream tonight guys, it'd be really really awesome, okay then cool, and not only that guys, please take care of you guys selves in 2021, okay guys, uh, yeah. Like 2020 was, 2021 is unpredictable as, okay guys, so take care of you guys, subs, okay? Most important. Yeah, but as usual guys, this is Dr. Kahu saying peace.